Thank you, Mr. Mayor, and thank you, members of the City Council. I also want to thank the City Administrator and other City leaders uh, for having us, giving us an opportunity to speak this evening. <coughs> thank you for permitting us to come before you again, if you will. And we're here again to speak on behalf of our enhancement plan uh, for the 700 and 800 blocks of Dollar Avenue. And uh, before us on the screen, of course, is the schematic design uh, that we are speaking uh, about this evening. I also want to just acknowledge that there are many others, the mayor, and who are here to support uh, our plan and Claflin University this evening including the representative from South Carolina State University. Uh, as you are aware, this plan is designed to enhance the safety and the welfare of all concerned, and especially the pedestrians who must move about the 700 and 800 blocks of Dolph Avenue daily, carrying out their business uh, at two universities and, of course, in the neighborhood. I want to begin by admitting to this council that in our, in our great desire to bring about positive change for our neighborhood, we made some mistakes. And maybe we even offended some along the way. And if we did, I apologize. I would be the first to admit that initially we did not communicate well in all our interactions with the city council, with the city leaders, and some members of our community. In particular, in the early stage stages, we did not give all of the neighbors of the community uh, the opportunity to know all our plan and to give feedback. Mr. Mayor, and to our council members, we want you to know that throughout this process, yes, we've made some mistakes, but we've learned. And we want to build on the lessons learned from this experience as we go forward. We're committed, Cloud University, we're committed to creating connections and partnerships with all of our neighbors. During our last appearances, last two appearances, we informed the council that we have shared the proposed plan with property owners of the 700 and 800 blocks of Golf Avenue with only one, only one opposition. And we had discussed the plan with South Carolina State and all along had their full support. But at our last appearance before council, we were asked whether or not we had talked to the residents on other streets, Clark Street and Duncan Street. No, we have not talked to all of the residents on these streets, on these adjacent streets, but following the meeting, we set out to do just that. I'm pleased to inform council that my staff and I have made contact with everyone possible on the streets in question, Golf Avenue, Clark, and Duncan. When we made contact with our neighbors, we shared the plan with our neighbors. And we shared the plan with whomever and whoever answered the doors and uh, were able to physically talk to us. We've connected with more than 20 neighbors in these three streets. Now, after sharing the plan with the neighbors one-on-one, -on -one, we then asked the following question. We asked for their feedback on the actions proposed for the 700 and 800 blocks of Golf Avenue. That is the removal of designated parking spaces, the installation of three uh, calming devices, and the installation of three crosswalks. We didn't stop there. We also asked the neighbors if they would be interested in serving on a neighborhood advisory committee where neighborhood residents, citizen groups, campus and local law enforcement, and other interested stakeholders would leverage community collaboration and deepen our neighborhood 
conversations about issues that matter to us most, including topics of public safety, the aesthetics, environmental stewardship, and economic development. 